Girls on Tinder will say, Your parents will love me, but your neighbors won't. Like, what are you gonna do? Start mowing at 7 a.m. on a Saturday? Start doing a construction project with a, with a, with a jigsaw? What? What's going on? Be, on? be real here. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Dealey. My name is Damien, and today we're going through r slash Tinder. And I'm recording this on April Fools, so... Haha, uh, what funny pranks have your friends put on you today? <laughs> For me, it was an earthquake in California. Just a little one from Mother Nature. That was their April Fool's Day. Can you imagine how packed the trails would be if everyone on Tinder who said they liked hiking actually did it? There'd be lines. Lines! You have a lot of pics smiling. Are you depressed on the inside? <laughs> Wow, that's cutting right to the point. Uh, yeah, a uh, little bit, especially now that you call it out. Can I get busy with Izzy? Uh, you mean busy? Can I get busy with Izzy? You're not good with spelling. Oh, don't you mean your dumb, stupid moron? Weird question, but are you a redneck? I am not. Oh, I assume since your name was Jordan, you were a little country. Why? Ugh, I'm sorry, you said you like puns Jordan's an actual country. <laughs> Oh my god, that's brilliant. I was too sleepy to get it, but that is nuanced. Nah, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> it's not really a nuanced joke. Nuance these nuts. <laughs> It is a guarantee that I will analyze every situation and conversation and correct you when you are wrong, factually, morally, or otherwise. You will make errors and I will notify you. If you find that bothersome, I understand. I'm just doing my due diligence to prepare you mentally for who I am. Okay. You mean due diligence, idiot. Looks like we're starting early. Ah, oh, Sam, this is so weird, but you look exactly like my future ex-husband. Yeah, I mean, I'm five foot eight, so I can see me being really into you for your edgy haircut. Obvious quick wit, but that inch you have on me is only gonna get in my head and eat away at my confidence. I'll probably turn gay and we'll have to divorce. That's a storybook romance if I've ever heard one. Uh, in all seriousness though, I, I don't have any issue with height differences, so we may need to find uh, some other underlying issue to tear apart our marriage. I don't know, this is Tinder. I'm also probably a serial killer, so who knows? <laughs> I really doubt that. What are the chances that two serial killers match with each other? Say what, huh? Top or bottom? Oh, middle, sometimes jungle. Ah, uh, understandable. Today I sat next to a girl on a bus and I watched her swipe left on me on Tinder. I got off on the next stop. So, you're in a plane with Linda. You crash over a tundra or whatever. It's been weeks. You're starving and you wake up one day to see Linda has died of hypothermia. Do you eat Linda? No. I dismember and use her limbs as bait and snare traps to capture at least four large game animals. I cook one. I use Linda's intestines to make shelf-stable sausage from the rest. I use her teeth and bones to make crude tools and fishing hooks. I craft Linda's hair into a sling to hunt birds, whose feathers I use to fletch arrows. I build a cabin. I tame wolves with bits of sausage. I craft a headdress of elk antlers. I am the god of the forest. Linda's face resides over my mantle, watching as I tame nature. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Linda, indeed. Damn, he has that planned out. Hey, Michelle. Oh, sorry, my phone died. Wow, you found that pretty fast. Usually takes me about five months to find my charger. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it was fully charged. Zero to 100 real slow. Hey, sorry, I was in the shower. Hey, just saw this message. Sorry, I was in class. Hey, sorry, Michelle. I've made a horrible first impression. I get really caught up with finals. Hi, I really do apologize for just getting back to you. I've just had a really busy week. Michelle, I don't want you to think I'm rude. Midterms are coming up and midterms are coming up and it's just been really hard to keep up with it all. Hey, Josh, just wanted to get back to you really quickly. President's Day had me swamp recently you know how it gets i wonder if they're still doing this please tell your dog that he's a good boy for me please i mean i would do so if she was a boy but she's a girl oh uh, can i start over <laughs> yeah go for it uh tell your dog that she only deserves 70 percent of the love a male dog earns <laughs> <laughs> that's awful oh man that's terrible i would i would unmatch too okay F mary kill bruce wayne me bill gates i know lol okay just humor me <laughs> i don't know lol you know you were supposed to end up saying kill you and i was gonna say well if you're gonna take me out at least let me take you out first but now i just wish you'd kill me anyway you're you have the conversational skills of a of a, of a saltine not even like a good one like a stale saltine ones you find in the back of the pantry with a case half up i would say you have the personality of an oyster cracker but those are the sophisticated cracker and you do not deserve to be compared to those i'm pretending to be a hot girl on tinder so i can match with my roommate and tell him i'm coming over so clean the apartment that's mind games 101 are you lightning because i want to make you mcqueen hi obviously i'm no linger interested in communicating with you after that message but i'm writing to let you know 
entirely for your own sake. You need to do better. Or no girl will ever seriously reply to you. Kerchow? No. No Kerchow. Well, hey, you look lucky every so often. I mean, I match with you, so it ain't so bad. Hey, so, um, I kind of have this thing going on with someone now. I just didn't want to ghost you and leave you feeling like there's something wrong with you. So this is me saying goodbye and good luck with your future matches. Hey, no worries. I'm glad you found someone and I appreciate the message. Shows that you're a pretty nice person. I hope everything goes well for you. I don't like this post. It was too wholesome. Don't include it. Hedge, Sophie. Your smile is contagious. So, did you match with me for the exclusive Pokemon facts or the Portuguese drink tasting? Haha, <laughs> death for the Pokemons. Did you know that Ditto's a failed clone of Mew? I know. I was speechless for days too when I found out. You from here? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Know any good spots for a date? Museums. Is there one you prefer? Art. You know, I bet I can guess your favorite style of art. Go for it. Minimalism. It's like I'm talking to a magic eight ball. It's one word responses. But even then, magic eight balls have, you know, sometimes even two or three words to respond with. So, happy Sunday. So, what has made you smile this weekend? Besides matching with me, Steve. I'd say mine's volunteering for the Tim Tebow prom for mental disabilities. I am headed to Bloomington today, and if my Hoosiers could win, I'm sure that would complete my weekend. Very pretty girl, by the way. Oh, that's super cool, but how's your arm? What do you mean? Oh, you see, I thought you broke it patting yourself on the back. I don't know how you, right, you reach back there, man. Got these short, stubby little arms. I thought you were a T-Rex at first. <laughs> anyway, uh, you're self-absorbed. <laughs> Bold stance on not splitting the bill. It is fascinating to see a woman who will reverse traditional gender roles and pay for it all. Ah, oh, so you think you're funny. Well, I was voted sharpest wit in my graduating class at secondary school. 20 teenagers can't be wrong. So what do you think, London? If that even is your real name. Hey, you're not very tall, to be honest. Why include it in your bio? Uh, righto, because it's like the first thing people ask, so it saves them time. Oh, well, you aren't tall enough for me, sorry. Why did you match then? Just to be an asshole? Jesus Christ, you are not hot enough to have this sh personality. And in fact, I am I am very happy to see that in your profile picture, you're hugging a bear, because I am sure that's the only embrace you've received in quite some time. No one wants to be around that. It stinks. Hey, this is my cat. I just had to show someone. He is awesome. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, and you wouldn't believe how many times he's gotten me dates on here. Go ahead and guess. Hmm. Zero. Yeah, you're right. Guess I'm gonna have to put him down. Wait, what? Wanna know the chances of us hooking up? Zero percent. You ever check the weather and it says zero chance of rain, but it still rains anyways? My point is, Teresa. I'm no meteorologist, but I think Teresa chance of rain. Know what I'm saying? Keely is 21, and they're not into casual hookups, only into ranked competitive hookups. What's your elus? You know, nudes are played out. Send me a video of you reading out loud so I know you're not dumb. I wanna know what your IQ level is so I can have a conversation with you, or if I'm just talking to a brick. Not even a brick wall, just a singular brick. Hey, so I'm a pretty upfront person since I've been through a lot of shitty relationships. Anyways, do you believe in Jesus? Are you willing to wait for marriage? Do you have a car and a job? If we make it this far, are you willing to pick me up and pay on the first date? <laughs> wow, I'd quit using that as your opener to, to be honest. Uh, instead, try, hi, I have red flags, date me. I think, I think that would be quite simple. Let, let him figure it out later. How's your evening? It's a must have on my checklist to have a job, a house, and a car, and it's a must that you be six feet. Hi, I meet all of those requirements. It's a must on my checklist that you have nine months of cash reserves in case of an emergency, a debt slash income ratio of less than 30%, and put at least 20% of your income into tax advantaged retirement account. I also require C cups or bit that you should Hit my line. God, I, I cannot imagine if I hit my girlfriend with any of these. She would have killed. She would have kissed. She would have kissed me on the head and then kicked my ass in that order. Left me off. Left it. Sweep me off my feet physically and metaphorically. She wouldn't have done that. I'm kidding. She just wouldn't have, you know, gone on a date with me. <laughs> Ron is 28 and he is the every man. Hey, how much does a polar bear weigh? <laughs> Enough to break the ice. <laughs> I mean, you know, you'd think that, but no. Polar bears live on ice. That'd be pretty dumb if they fell through it all the time. Or they wouldn't be alive. And then what would we put on Coca-Cola cans? Nothing. Hit me with the joke. Uh, it's a knock-knock joke, but you have to start it. Okay, knock-knock. Who's there? Oh, f f f who? Me? <laughs> all right, we're a good match. You passed. Snack. Tell me more. Oh, I didn't like any of that. Tell me less. <laughs> Also, how's he gonna do all that? He's only got two hands. Playing Twister. Can you solve a Rubik's Cube in less than 12 seconds? <sighs> no way. Okay, neither can I. Just wanna make sure I wouldn't be intimidated by you. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, sweet, we're dating now. That's how Tinder works, or so I'm told. Uh, okay, but I don't think my boyfriend would like that. No, I'm fine with it. I'm okay with it. Why would I, be, why would I have a problem? 
Anastasia's 38. If you're over 35, it's time to forget about young girls and find a woman who can recognize signs of a stroke. Consider me, Anastasia. I love your smile. Hey, thanks. Yeah, it took me a long time to collect all these teeth. Aw, oh, that's creepy. Aww. Oh, sh yeah, no, I didn't mean that to be creepy. I just meant it took a long time to find a bunch of homeless people with matching teeth, you know? <laughs> Yo, show me how those tits fart. <laughs> Hi, I know it's been two years, but this message keeps me up at night. What does it mean? What do you think it means? How did, how's, it, how's it happen? I have train facts. How would you tell me your dirtiest train fact? In 1825, there was a guy so thick, he literally caused a steam locomotive to explode using only his ass. Well, I'm impressed. The locomotive's name was Best Friend of Charleston, and the thick man was the fireman. The man in charge of keeping the fire burning, he got annoyed by the sound of the safety valve, so he sat on it and the train exploded. Wait, I just fact checked it and you're right. I thought you made that up, to be honest. No, <laughs> I never make up train facts. They're all I know. Human thing. Damn, I must really look like trash if I match with a raccoon. Hey, you swept on me, pal. I didn't ask to be slaughtered with words right off the bat. All right, Jesus. That's weird. You look really updog in that second picture. Huh? Updog, you got that updog look on your face. You got the I get no pussy and let my dog let peanut butter off my balls look on your face, bitch. And yeah, I'm much, how about you? <laughs> I have train facts. Okay, cool. It gaff about trains. Well, now that just makes me sad. Trains are useless and boring. <laughs> well, I know what else is useless and boring? You piece of sh Hey, you have the following options here. Uh, a cheesy pickup line, an interesting fact, a filthy pickup line, or a recipe. Okay, I'll choose the interesting fact. Okay. Vikings used the bones of slain animals when smithing new weapons, believing this would enchant the weapon with the animal's spirit. This actually made the weapon stronger because the carbon and bones coupled with the iron made a primitive version of steel. Can I pick another option? No, no. Are you that much of a pussy that you just send memes? You f Beta. <laughs> I'm in danger. You f beta. I know. Uh, I'm an alpha. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna do it for r slash tinder and i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more content daily and until next time uh, my name is damien and i'll be seeing you